All right, there are a number of variations on the MTD construction. Um, the, the two basic models that I'm promoting right now are the 2 by 12 MTD steel stud slot collector and the 2 by 8 uh, steel stud slot collector. Uh, there are many variations on this, but uh, these are two that uh, are reasonably easy uh, to build and they uh, work pretty good. So uh, these are the ones that I'm promoting. Anyway, uh, so today we want to uh, we'll be building the uh, two by eight MTD collector. Now I have put together a kit for a uh, twelve foot collector, uh, and the basic frame for the kit is something, something like this. But the shipping expenses for a kit like this are so high that I thought it would be better to focus on the, uh, the two foot by eight foot collector. These collectors can be uh, put together to form. The first thing you want to do before we begin the construction of the MTD collector is to build a workbench. Uh, this is a very easy workbench to build. It's uh, 30 inches by about 8 feet. Uh, it's uh, plywood on top of some 2x4s which are resting on top of a few saw horses. That's all it is. It's a little messy and it's going to be a little hard to, to see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, just going to cover this with a kind of a black tablecloth just uh, so that it will be easier to see the things that I, I want to show you. Um, okay, uh, so we're going to be working with uh, steel stud slots. Uh, this is a uh, this is a steel stud slot right here. And I'm going to be, generally, they are they're about ten feet long, so you can see they hang out the edge a little. But that's all right. We can still use a, a table this small to work with. Uh, so for uh, one eight foot. Our collector will need at least uh, two steel stud slots like this. And well, what we'll be doing is we're going to be cutting this uh, flange. This is this is the flange on the steel stud slot. And we're going to be cutting slits like this and uh, bending them. Now. Uh, Without the kit that I'm sending you, you could actually, this is all you need to build an eight-footer. Just two of these. You're going to cut a slit, and this slit will be approximately 97 inches from the bottom uh, on both sides, the right and left sides of the steel stud spot. And you'll just be bending them over and uh, putting pop rivets in. Uh, but the kit that I'm going to be sending you, um, you're still going to need uh, two of these, but you're, the, uh, the, the difficult work on the, the head, what I call the head of the collector, uh, will be done by me. Uh, this is just to get you, you started with this uh, MTD concept, because the, uh, the top part of the collector is uh, a little uh, tricky. Uh, but once you, you see how it's built, uh, you should be able to do this uh, on your own. Anyway, this is a, the type of kit that I'll be sending you is uh, easy enough for me to pack and the cost of shipping is reasonable enough. So uh, it's just that the expense, you, you'll need one extra steel stud slot and that will uh, cost you an extra four dollars or so. So anyway, this is a good way to get started. Um, and the, the steel stud slot that I'm going to be sending you will only be uh, four foot long because this is something that I, I can pack. I can't really, um, if I built the entire collector and shipped it to you, I, I, just the shipping charges alone could easily cost $300. So that's a little, a little crazy. Uh, we're gonna, we want to keep those shipping costs down. Anyhow, um, so before we even do anything, the very first thing that I want you to do is uh, to cut some 2x4s, uh, 25, uh, 
25 and 1 eighth inches, okay? Uh, yeah, add that little extra eighth inch. Uh, uh, it just makes it uh, fit a little better. Uh, you could think of it as uh, 25.2 inches uh, plus or minus 0.1 inch. That's your, your tolerance, okay? Uh, so cut, cut yourself a couple of uh, two by fours. Take, take a stud, cut up a couple of these. Because um, these are going to be used for guides uh, that will help you in the assembly. You'll notice that, uh, and I just want to show you something, that these are really nice to work with when you, you're assembling this. Uh, it's nice to use these uh, two by fours. Notice how they fit right inside here like this. And when we're punching holes in the steel stud slots or measuring or uh, making adjustments and stuff, these studs come in really handy as guides. Okay. Anyway, uh, so that's your first step. Make, make yourself a couple of these uh, studs, uh, 25.2 inches, plus or minus 0.1 inch. Okay. And you, while you're doing that, you can also cut yourself a couple blocks. These are about uh, six inches long. All right, so that's, uh, that's what we need to get started. Uh, okay, let's set up our temporary support for our stud slots. This will just hold it in approximately the position that we'll want it. So I've already pre-punched a hole here. And this is our spacer, 25.2 uh, inches. We'll just set that up like this. Just have it in the center. All we need is one screw. This is just a temporary support to hold it in place while we work on it. Okay. There we go. Love these studs. They, the studs and the stud slots go together like a cup of tea and a Chinese uh, bee. I don't know. All right. All right, that's 97 inches. Well, you'll have to take my word for it here, I'll show you. I know, you don't, you don't believe anything I'm saying, do you? I don't either sometimes. Alright, so, that's 97 inches from the foot of the collector to the head of the collector. And that's exactly what we want. So, we can put our screws in here. Just using half inch sheet metal screws. Okay. Now we just went right into the wood actually. I should use a smaller piece of wood. Anyway, uh, you get the basic idea. We're just going to attach it right at this junction. Okay, we've measured our rail from the foot of the collector. Here's the foot of the collector to the head of the collector. And it's 97 inches. That's exactly what we want. We've, we've adjusted the position of it. Uh, I put a 2x4 block in back and uh, tighten it up with a C-clamp. Uh, we want this to bind together as uh, well as possible. It's just going to be held together with four sheet metal screws. Uh, it would probably be better if you used uh, nuts and bolts or you could use pop rivets. But since this is a, just a temporary structure, uh, just for demonstration purposes, uh, this is all I'm, all I'm using is sheet metal screws. The problem with these sheet metal screws is if you get them, uh, if you over tighten them, they'll strip the threads out, and it's not the best way to bind this. But just to, uh, since it's temporary, this is all I'm going to be doing. Also. If you are doing this kind of thing, it'd probably be better to turn the speed down on the drill a little. Won't have this. It's easier to control that way. Okay, that's one side. 